today, looking back, we could wonder whether concerts in a disinfect chapel, a disco in a former missionary school um, were, well, apt. The biggest criticism came from the thousands of girls who have actually schooled there because you, you can't blame them. Huh? They have an emotional attachment. If it begins to degenerate with um, you know, sort of sleazy pubs, for example, then that's a problem. There were many st stakeholders uh, that were involved in it. And the challenge is how do you actually balance all these people? The history of the school um, dates to 1854. The first nuns arrived, they set up a small school, orphanage, nunnery, and so forth. <laughs> The school used to have an orphanage and the gate that we would, you know, sometimes wait for our school buses or our parents to pick us up. That was the gate where uh, babies would be abandoned and the nuns would open the gates in the morning and find abandoned babies there. We had a lot of nuns, they were, nuns who taught us cookery, uh, who taught us uh, sewing. There was a lot of things in, in our, during our education years that the nuns um, tried to lead us towards good life. The moral values are very strong. Caldwell House, a circular recreation room. In this room, you have the inscription on the wall, walk in my presence and be perfect. The chapel was quite a big highlight there because students before going to school would also stop and I would, as a student, I would also stop there before going to my class. When our exam results were to be announced and we worried about whether we would pass and we would run to the chapel to say a little prayer. I enjoyed my teaching stint there. The children were just simply lovely. Ta 1970s the 1970s and 1980s, Singapore uh, was at its height of development. The city centre is prime land and therefore the thinking at that point in time was, well, we should not use the land for purposes such as education. The move to Topayo was a choice because it was part of the IG mission to go into the heartlands and to serve the community. I was the kind of the lucky batch that shifted the school. So I was here since I was in kindergarten. There was some um, sadness in leaving the school because it was something we were very used to, la. I mean the old end. But the thrill for us was a new school as well, so it was a good mixture. La. Conservation in and of itself is not an end in itself, right? Because you can conserve the buildings, but then what use do you put the buildings to? Obviously, one of the biggest challenges would be is how do you manage uh, conservation and commercialization? Uh, obviously, we were constrained by a lot of the uh, conservation because you must understand it was 150 to 160 year old with, with very deep seated uh, roots to uh, especially the girls who have schooled there. So this is uh, what we had to do. You cannot preserve heritage or conserve places for the sake of conserving. The biggest issue is actually with the chapel. There were alumni who were rather upset uh, that dinners could be held in the chapel. The girls um, were adamant that no food or drinks, no alcohol should ever be in Chime Song. They felt it was a, a place of sanctity and how could you eat in a church? Well, I can understand, I can accept it, uh, but we had to work this together. When we did the costing, and they says how much will it cost us then to hold this occasion outside? And at the end of the day, the cost exceeded their budget. And the solution was to bring the function back into the chimes hall. The girls were the first group of people to actually use the chimes hall 
sensitively to celebrate their 150 uh, years of their founding. My own view remains that uh, we can and should pick users that are sensitive to the origins of the building. Restaurants are okay. As long as they enjoy the place, there's some heritage to the place. People see it as there's some history to it, you know. It's fine, you know. Unless it becomes so degraded. At one point in time, I think there were also model agencies uh, that occupied the space and I thought it deeply ironical that you would have these young women sashaying in skimply clad clothes as models when this was a space of nuns who uh, respected decorum that was highly unsuitable. And I, I think what was very um, gratifying was that the religious were completely understanding and they allowed the commercial entity to do what they want. As a sister, and we learn that you have to be detached. <laughs> you have to, to, to let go. You cannot cling on to anything. The objectives of our enhancement works currently undertaken by Perennial uh, is to enhance the visibility and the accessibility of the place so that more people, uh, whether it's local or the tourists, will get to mo know more about this place, the history and the rich heritage. Of course, uh, this is a commercial development, so we have to make sure that uh, the place is commercially viable. But at the same time, uh, it's also a conservation site, so we have to respect um, the conservation guidelines. And your hypothesis is that, well, people can't see what's going on inside, and therefore let's open it up by lowering the walls, putting in the grill so that people can see in. I think it's the wrong hypothesis that has led to an unnecessary action. Lowering the cloister grounds could probably make the place look more inviting to the outside. But are we not eroding the character of a 19th century building once again? Back in 1880, 如果那时候我们真的成功的话，可能今天就没有产品，因为一个历史的标志要能够有实际上的用途才能够保持下。I mean, we can't help all these changes that 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 comes along with commercialization. We just can't help because they have to make something out of it. They have to make it viable. So we have to be very practical. We can't be too sentimental about um, history and be so firm about certain things. We have to move on. The spirit of IG. It's really out of the building. The building is just a shell to me. We should try to preserve from the outside. And that's all matters. Something tells us deep inside. I dream friends are friends for